Chris George Vlog of Florida Parks After Dark. I'm here with my one partner in crime, Addy. And we are on the Florida Turnpike. Now, we are showing you this because this is your experience if you're coming from Orlando, anywhere in South Florida. Now, if you're coming from North Florida, it's gonna look just like it. If you land in an airport, just like it. But this is what it's gonna be like. So, there's two real ways to get to Walt Disney World from the highway, there's two highways. We're on the turnpike. The turnpike's a two lane road, comes up with very few exits. Um, rest stops in the middle, three of them if you're coming all the way down from West Palm, Miami area. And it's a fast moving road, there's not a lot of exits, but with two lanes, there's a variability of anything happens, there's gonna be a backup. It is also the most direct route because it goes catty corner from the coast and straight to the center of Florida where Orlando is. So there's that piece of it. Here's the other road. The other road is I-95. I-95 for anybody in the Northeast, it's the same I-95 you drive in in New York and Philadelphia and Maryland, same road. So you can run up the coast, it runs straight along the coastline, base to your right, center of Florida to your left. And there it is, there's your Disney World exit sign. Yay, you can tell we're getting close. I was gonna tell the traffic's picking up because of such. So, 95 is the four lane, sometimes five lane road. It moves very fast, a lot of exits. So if you have little guys, it's easier to pop off and potty breaks or bathroom breaks or grab a bite. So it really depends on which one. It is a Two little miles. slower. Take exit 251 to merge onto Sorry. State Road 417 for Tampa. Um, that is our So, long story short, once you get up to 95, once you get up to 95, there's going to be a road 528 that comes straight across. So you kind of go up, north, 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 then directly west in Orlando. Um, it also, it's the easiest, it's a quick way to get to the Orlando National Airport. So, we're not doing any of that. We're on the turnpike, going north, and I want to show you what this is like. So, you're sensing the traffic. This is where this turnpike kind of blows up because you're in Orlando, there's so much volume. They take turnpike from two lanes to four in like a blink of an eye, boop, and you're four lanes. So it all lightens up. So we're heading up. We're now ending, we we're in Oceala County, we're now in Orange County. Orange County's where kind of the magic is, right? So, when you come off the turnpike, the first exit you're gonna pop off is around 417. 417 is also where you get to the airport. So if you're coming into um, Orlando International MCO, there's two ways to get from the airport to the Magic Kingdom. It's 528, we mentioned, from 95, or 417. Each end of the airport has a, a way to get to either road, and it comes in. So, with all that said, we're taking 417, we're taking 417 west towards Tampa. Tampa's on the west coast. You'll know that, you'll see it. So if I were to go, okay, 417 south, sorry. Go 417 north, you hit the airport. Now what's great is this new bridge I just added to make this transition a whole lot easier. It's been here about a couple years. There's a whole lot harder of an exit from now. And as you come down, we'll get a view of you, and it's shame is, up here, this bridge is so high, you actually can see there's a new property if you look real tall, but you can't. what you can see is sometimes SeaWorld's out there and all that, but coming down, and we are popping on now. Now, 417 is going under ongoing construction as any turnpike system is or highway system is. Hey, Flirt. You are going to hit this, and it is always going to be under some construction. So it is getting done now. So what does what, what 417 mean? 417 basically goes straight in. There's multiple exits for Disney at that point. So that's where we're going. So let's kind of get a little on the road, and here we go. Right 
the distance. You might not be able to see it on the video, but one of our favorite resorts, the JW Marriott's over there. It's a great place near Disney, but off property to stay. We did a vlog at St. Another Hotel on that property, Lakeshore Resort. We did a vlog on that, so we jump on our channel. And, and do me a favor, go ahead and like this video. And then jump on our channel, subscribe and jump on our channel. And you'll look, we try to do a lot of different places to stay on property and off property. So you have a variety of choices to really be able to pick and choose what you want to do. And this exit, John Young Park, which we're passing right now, is how you would get to the JW, which also on the same property is the Ritz Carlton. On the same property as Lakeshore Reserve we just mentioned. Go look at that vlog, it's all in there. We have a bunch, you can see what that's like. The good thing about that property is it's stone's throw to SeaWorld um, and it's close to Universal. So if you're not a Disney person, you get to other parks. For Disney folks, it's a little bit of a drive in, but it's worth it. It's a beautiful property. We're going to do a, a larger build out of a video of that property so you guys can see it. But we're past all that, so now what? As you go forward, there's literally going to be three, if not four, exits to get to the Magic Kingdom down this road. We're going to show you one. And as we go past the other ones, we'll call you through them. Disclaimer of the day. Florida is the number one state people are moving to throughout the entire country. Orlando is the number one city in the number one state people are moving to in the country they're moving to. So the number of people coming in to live in Orlando is historic. And as a stop, even the economy being what it is, inflation being what it is, we said people flying. I mentioned the Disney signs. There's one for Disney Springs and Epcot. So did I mention? It was there. <laughs> we brought it. Magic Kingdom Hollywood Studios. Wait, 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 wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. Okay, we're going to come around the turn. It. Truck's blocking it, so it's okay. So here's what we're going to do. You'll see enough of them, trust me. We're getting in there. So, long story short, you're gonna have traffic because you have a lot of people coming. You're also gonna have a lot of construction and build out expansion of the road. So just heads up. That is also why you may want to get a room on property. Get a Disney property, it's gonna cost you a couple more pennies to do it, but you're not gonna get cut in a whole lot of traffic. So there you go. Alright. Quick and 
you'll see the thing that gives your heart beat fast in a second. So. As you continue to share, Route 4 is another route by your um, phone to try to take you on. Route 4 historically is a very crowded, very congested road and has a lot of backups. I mean, daily. So, look at real quick. Here's the sign. Uh, Magic Kingdom, August Series M, and I'm in Kingdom, exit 3. Guess where we're going? Exit 3. It's gonna be good stuff. And that's Oceala Parkway. Get lined up for it. You'll see probably the reason I'm taking this way in a second. Christmas thing like Disney Christmas. It's called Ice. It's a beautiful large resort. They have larger than life ice sculptures there every year. They tell the stories of different Christmas movies. I think they just had Charlie Brown. Christmas, it was Kiosk this year, yeah. If I'm right. It is. Now that Gaylord Palms is a Marriott property. We talked about the Ritz Carlton, we talked about the JW, we talked about Lakeshore Resort. They're all Marriott properties. As well as, in case you didn't know, the Swan. The dolphin on Disney property, as well as the Song Reserve, which is the newest one. So Marriott has a very big, big footprint here. We're and if you're Marriott Bonneville, which is a frequent stay reward program, it is well worth it. We are. It's paid off for us over the years. Now we live here. We don't need to use it as much. But here comes the best part. So we passed Gaylord. We got our 417, we're on Oceala Parkway. And wait on it. What does that sign say, kids? That sign says... Disney World. Disney World. So what do you think we're coming up on? Friends, we're coming up on the gates. The best thing in the world is driving through the gates of Walt Disney World. There's nothing better ever. There's all the signs, and yes, it can get confusing. But if you get the signs, look at the gates. Look at that. That, my friends, is something I will never get bored of. It's saying that. It was the best place on earth, and you are now officially on Disney property. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And just follow the signs to wherever you need to go. I've caught Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom is straight ahead. Hollywood Studios is that exit to the right. What I've told you repeatedly, and I'll tell you again, set your phone. <laughs> it won't. It'll help you get from point A to point B. And a sea of roads and ramps and things to do. So. Alright guys, listen. We're going to do a new special thing for you. Because we like you. And we think you guys are fun and nifty bunch. We're going to take you to the Magic Kingdom gates. We went through Walt Disney World gates. You guys need to see the Magic Kingdom. It's good for the soul. As we turn around here, we're going to be literally going next to 
Uh, you may not be able to say it. We're gonna keep going straight, keep going straight, keep going straight. We're but right now we're passing um, the exit that used to be for the Galactic Star Cruiser that was um, Galaxy's Edge kind of the immersive experience where they just closed it. We have a vlog on that, take a look at that. And that means we're also right next to Hollywood Studios. But we're not doing Hollywood Studios. I love Hollywood Studios. But hi, Hollywood Studios, I'm sorry, comes second to the Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna show you the gates of Magic Kingdom. We're gonna get on our way. Now, we talked a little bit two seconds ago, my partner and I talked about different places to stay. As we come down this way, ah, I'll show you that. That is the Swan Reserve. Swan Reserve is, we talked about, a Marriott property. The Swan and the Dolphin are right up there, right next to it. So it's a chance that the places you stay on property get all the benefits of being on Disney property, but it's not a Disney hotel. I'm not saying it's cheaper or anything else, but it is not a Disney hotel's Marriott. And for our Epcot lovers, there's the exit for the Epcot. And that exit literally goes to the gates. There's no choice. You make that turn, you're at the Epcot gates, and you're seeing the ball. But again, we're not doing that for you. Just for you to know, today is a slow day at the Magic Kingdom. And it's a beautiful day in Florida, so that is interesting. But, so, right now we're leaving Magic Kingdom. So in your mind, start a clock. I'll tell you how long it's going to be. Okay. That's one of the, there are two gas stations in all of Walt Disney World. That's one where I said Magic Kingdom is through the volume. They have one over by Hollywood Studios. Alright, no more. We're still looking for that darn monorail. Alright. There's also a bus we're looking for. So if you hear a squeal, we're looking for a bus. They just released a new Zootopia bus. We've only seen it once. And if you jump on our, our uh, channel right now and look for the shorts on buses, You'll see, we just love finding these rap character buses. They're like a pet project. And Zootopia is a new one. So we're scouring all of Disney World for it. Word on the street is they release a bunch of them. And the one after Zootopia is Arnberg. 
Oh, knock those in. There is Monroe going right by Gold, but we're just past it where you guys won't be able to see it. So, to orient everybody, we did kind of a U turn. We're going back the way we came. Um, this is a fantastic view for you guys. Okay, so, to orient my whole crew, the Triangle Hotel is the Dolphin. Straight back, the orange building is the Tower of Terror in Hollywood Studios. The building next to Tower of Terror with a little slanty roof, that's the Swan Reserve again. And back in there is the Swan. So that's, and that is actually one of Florida Park After Dark's favorite, favorite, favorite areas in all of Disney. Yes. From those hotels, you can see the fireworks out of Epcot. It's just natural. After Dark with my partner in crime, Addy. And we are going to ask you to go ahead and like this video because we want to continue to show you stuff. And this is just what it is to drive here and get a feel for it before you get on the road. Um, we're going to subscribe to the channel because that has a ton of other information to make your trip to Orlando as rich as possible. Show you things maybe you didn't see before, things you can do otherwise. But so like and subscribe. We thank you for your time and all your support. You guys have a fantastic day and take care.